Hello and welcome to this video guide on the process of configuring iComplete's order feature. Enabling order for a user. To configure order, you must have the correct permissions set on your user profile. To do so, you must have administrator permissions. Log in to iComplete with an admin user and select the configuration tile. Click Manage Users. Click the user which you would like to give the order permission to. This can include the user which you are logged in as. Click the Can Create Orders toggle so that Yes is highlighted. Click Update User. The user profile you have updated can now create orders and the order tile will be visible on the user's homepage. Adding delivery sites. Delivery sites tell your supplier where your orders need to be delivered. This is a required field when you create an order. If you are using iComplete with a connected finance system, you do not need to take any action as iComplete is able to access the delivery sites from your connected system. If you are using the order feature without connecting to a finance system, you will need to manually add your company's delivery sites to the reference data fields. You must have administrator permissions in order to do so. From the iComplete homepage, navigate to Configuration. Click on Reference Data. Select Delivery Sites from the left-hand menu. You will see an on-screen spreadsheet where you can add your delivery sites. If you prefer, you can also download an Excel template to populate your company's delivery sites. Then re-upload by clicking Select File to Import. Click Save. Your company's delivery sites are now available to select when creating an order. Creating an order layout. An order layout contains fields and text areas that are coded for the orders that you create. The iComplete system has a default order layout that you can use. Or you may create your own layouts. If you wish, you can create multiple layouts to be used in different order scenarios. From the iComplete homepage, navigate to Configuration. Select Manage Layouts. Click or tap Add Layout. Select Order from the drop-down list. Enter a meaningful name for your layout. Enter a short code for the new layout of up to five digits. This should clearly identify the layout. Use the toggle to switch whether the layout is to be active or inactive. Inactive layouts will not be applied to selected transaction types. With the basic details inputted, you can alter the field configuration on the second tab. Here you can choose how the layout will look and what will be contained on the header and lines of the layout. Click Save Layout. The third and final tab is the Settings Group tab. This allows you to configure the behaviour of different groups of users and what information they see on the layout. A user must be assigned to a Settings Group in order to be able to use the layout. This is useful, for example, if your marketing team want a certain account code to be used for new transactions, whereas customer services may want a different account code to be used. Edit Purchase Order Template. You can easily customize the color scheme, logo, numeric fields and other information on your company's purchase order template. This is what appears on the PDF that is sent to suppliers when you create an order in iComplete. To access this from the iComplete homepage, click the Configuration tile. Click the Company Management tile. Click Ordering in the left-hand menu. All systems configured to use order have a default purchase order template set up by the system. To edit this to match your own preferences, click the Change button. 
A preview of your company's current order template appears centered on the screen with options to edit the various fields on the right. Any changes you make to the order template will save automatically. That concludes our video guide on how to configure iComplete's order feature. If you require any further information regarding help with iComplete, please visit our documentation site at iClick at iComplete.com.